Hi fishy folks and happy fry fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. I know my week was busy as you know what. Guys before we get started with the video, you know the drill. Obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Boop the notification bell. Just gently caress it. And of course check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can find guppies and pluckos and this cool shirt. And uh, I'm pretty sure there are some new guppies for sale at Michael's Fish Room. Perhaps something called a purple nebula. You ask, how did you make a purple nebula? Well, by accident. But the guppies are spectacular. Imagine an American purple delta with purple and yellow and a steel nebula that... <laughs> and boom, babies. Limited edition, small small amount of pairs available michaelsfishing.com i suggest you pause the video you run right over there check it out let me know what you think but because it's fry fry friday and perhaps because a subscriber asked for it and i'm out of ideas we're gonna do a video on how to grow guppy fry fast that's right folks how to grow guppy fry fast Couple things you need in your guppy fry tank. First of all, mama guppies and daddy guppies love guppy fry because they're tender and delicious. So, if you have a mommy guppy and a daddy guppy, make sure you have hiding places for the baby guppies when they arrive, when the stork brings them. So, you need a hiding place, perhaps java moss, or floating plants, other floating plants like rickia, or water wisteria, or water sprite, or guppy grass, or naja grass, same thing. Java moss, all these things are great for fry to high in. The other thing which I like to have in my tanks is mom. Now, there was a loser who commented on my tanks, not really good English, but he's from the country apparently. Um, and he's not a boy, because he said he wasn't. So, long story short, uh, mom. I like mom in my fry tanks, and you want to know why? Here's why. Guppy fry like to graze nibble, 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 nibble all day. That's how they grow fast. That's how they survive. You're not going to be constantly dropping in, dropping in food in the tank. Plus, that'll cloud the water pretty fast and perhaps take your water parameters all out of whack. So, mom, you might say to yourself, what is he talking about? Mama's just just poop and, and rotting food, exactly. And in that poop and rotting food and all that other good stuff are little microorganisms that the fry will eat on. And they'll grow big and strong like me all day eating. That's me, not big and strong. So we got Mama in the tanks. We got hiding spots for the fish. Now, what else do we need? Good question. Clean water. I like to do water changes, perhaps 10% daily through my order water change system. You might not want to do that. Maybe you do 20% every other day. Or you do 10% a day because it's easy for you. Clean water, hiding places, because mommy and daddy fry love tender, delicious. I'm sorry. Mommy and daddy guppies love tender and delicious baby fry. The other thing you need, really need is... Uh, um, Good food, good commercial based food. Now, a lot of people like the baby brine shrimp. I like the baby brine shrimp, but I'm lazy and don't really have time to have all the brine shrimp hatcheries going. Cause you know, for seven days a week, you need like seven days of baby brine shrimp hatcheries. And I don't, I just, nope, no. So what I use in its place is this uh, Smart, Smartamia, Smartamia from Cobalt. It's supposed to replace baby brine shrimp it's got like 42% protein and only like 3% uh, moisture, which is pretty damn good. Prawns and silkworm and jumbo squid meal, dried kelp. It's got corn in there too, I'm sure to use as a binder. Mostly what's important is the fry like it and they really grow fast with it. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen this cobalt smartemia before, but um, it kind of looks like dust. Um, it's fantastic. The fish love it. It doesn't cloud the water. Um, it does, however, slip out of your hand. So if you have a little pinch, you gotta like pinch it over the tank so you don't lose it. 
Now, of course, I buy all my fish foods from Lisa and Martin at supercichlids.com. Use promo code SHIP for free for free shipping. And listen, folks, if you order something online, I don't care if it's from me, if it's from Lisa and Martin at supercichlids.com, if it's from Corey at Aquarium Co-op, or anyone, and the package arrival late, it's not their fault. The post office is getting hammered because it's Christmas. They're not managed well. Weather sucks in parts of the country. Deal with it. If you order fish, know they might be delayed and know there might be a problem. Take some responsibility, people. All right, off my soapbox. What other food do I like to use? I really like the Northfin Fry Starter. Uh, a little bit more protein, 48%, but a little bit more ash. This is 100% um, krill meal. That's what Lisa at Super Cichlids told me. And here's why she told me that. So I have this fancy pepper mill that I have the six mil uh, krill pro in. And I said, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just use that for my fry food because it's krill. She's like, well, if you want 100% krill, just get the fry starter. That's 100% krill. This is only 85% krill. So boom, little, little science for you folks. So you've seen my pepper mill. I apologize. I forgot a subscriber mentioned it to me in a, a video and it was the best idea ever. And I stole it. I gave him credit, but I'm, I'm using it. It's great. Go to, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, use the 20% off coupon. It's probably like five bucks. Don't get one with pepper in it. Besides, you never want to buy one with pepper in because you know how old the pepper is. If you go to use it, it might be stale. Long story short, get one without pepper. So you take your pepper mill, the clean one, as I said, put whatever size pellet you want. I have a six mil uh, Krill Pro from Norfin. And I bought the Krill Pro because I thought uh, Chewy, my flower horn, and Hanalea, my Oscars, would really like it. It would be big enough for them. It might be too big for them because they don't really eat that much of it. So uh, I've been using it as fry food. I use this almost every day in my tanks. You know, you just go over the tank and boom, fry food. It's perfect. So we got the fry starter. Bam! We got the uh, Cobalt Smartemia. And then, of course, whoosh, the pepper mill with whatever pellet you want. If you have cichlids and you have uh, Northfin cichlid food or another brand cichlid food and you want to use that, bam, fry food. Now, what I also like to feed, surprisingly enough, is this Cobalt uh, Ultra Pellet Guppy. I really like this. In fact, if you buy fish from me, you do get samples of this. Uh, bought this from Super Cichlids, of course. 44% protein. What I like about it is it's that size where most fry that are older than a week old can eat and every other guppy in the tank can eat it too. And so I, what I can do is, you know, I open it up and then I walk around and go in all the tanks just like that. Let me show you again. I sound like a sprinkler. Sorry, sound effect crazy here at Michael's Fish Room. All right, fishy folks, Guppy Pro Ultra Pellet, how to make your fry grow faster. Fry starter, I like the fry starter a lot, I gotta be honest. I also like the Smart Team, but this is expensive. Like I think this, I forget how much this was, it was really expensive though. But I figured I'd try it and uh, it works, does work great. And of course, pepper milk. Let's talk about temperature, how to grow your fry quickly, your guppy fry quickly, temperature. So if your tank is say 75 degrees, you might get 25% males, 75% females-ish. Scientific term, ish. Um, if you bump your tank up to say 80, maybe you get close to 50-50. And also your guppy fry will grow faster. It speeds up their metabolism. You're gonna have to feed them a little more which means you're gonna have more waste, which means you're gonna need more water changes, but they will grow faster. Also, speeding up their metabolism in some way, shape, or form does affect their lifespan. I don't know how much. I don't know if you know you have them at 80, then do they live a month less than normal in optimal conditions? Is it a year less? Is it a week less? I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. I'm just Michael from Michael's Fish Room with a nice beard and a great shaped head. Oh, and a new Apple Watch. All right, folks, clean water, good food, a place to hide, perhaps some mom, and a good beard. That's all you need to make guppy fry grow fast. 
Guys, if you have any questions, of course, send me an email or ask them down below. Check out supersickens.com. Use promo code SHIP for free. Check out Michael's Fish Room. And y'all, peace, yo. That's right, folks. How to go gup <laughs> Put your fish food in it. Whatever fish food you decide to use. Whatever um, pellet. What are these called? Not pellets. Damn it.